Hey YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's guys. We made it to year 2023. This will be a great year. I'm claiming it for you and I'm claiming it for me. Guys, one of my goals for the year of 2023 is to reach a thousand subscribers. I have quite some ways to go, but I know it's possible. I plan to put in the hard work and bring you guys lots of great content. So if you like travel, lifestyle, beauty, um, surgery updates, if you like that type of content, please hit that red subscribe button and join the family. While you're at it, also hit the post notification bell so that way you never miss an upload. And not, why not leave me a comment so I know you're watching? It's free and it helps my channel out tremendously. So guys, please help me out and hit that red subscribe button. Guys, in today's video, I will be doing a three-day post-op video on my Lipo 360 surgery. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so this video won't be too long. I'm still recovering. I'm still a little weak. Um, nothing like my last round of surgery. I am experience and experiencing a great deal of pain, which is to be expected. I'm just three days post-op. Guys, I have, they prescribed me four oxy pills. I have already taken all four of those. I took those pretty much within the first day. Um, by the second day I was done. So I've been taking my Tylenol extra strength. I would definitely recommend you get a bottle or two or three of that. Those, um, pills to take when you run out of your, um, prescription medication because you will need it. I am extremely sore and tender in my midsection and my back. I feel like I have been hit by a bus. Um, my stomach is pretty firm, but... I know it's filled with a lot of fluids. I can almost feel the fluids. I feel like really bloated. Um, like I said, I have not had any uh, post-op massages yet. So I know I'm retaining a lot of fluid. I'm still taking my antibiotics. They gave me like, I want to say eight days worth of antibiotic pills. So I'm still taking those twice a day. And I'm also taking some over-the-counter vitamins. I believe they're called... Bromelain. I will pop a picture up here. But what they are, it um they are pineapple extract vitamins, which helps with reducing swelling. So I'm taking that every day. You're supposed to take those twice a day with food as well, just like with your antibiotics. And I'm taking that along with those um antibiotics. I'm taking both pills to help to reduce the swelling. I don't know that I would be able to get any massages anytime soon, any professional massages, because I do live in an area where not many people um, do offer that, offer the post-surgery um, massages. So I don't know. I'm still doing research to see if I can find somebody to do that. But my incisions are pretty much healed up. Um, they would have to be reopened to drain the massages. So now what I'm going to have to do is get the massages to have um, them massage it towards my lymphatic um, nodules. So that way they can, I can pass the fluid in my urine unless I can find somebody who will reopen the incisions and drain it out that way. Um, I did know this prior to having surgery that I probably wouldn't have the massages or I wouldn't have them soon because I know nobody had does them in my area. So that's one thing I am going to give you, show you guys some before some pictures of my progress. You in the pictures, you can see that I am still extremely swollen. I am still a little fluffy around the midsection, but you can see the the where the definition is trying to sh come in at you can see that once the swelling goes down I will be snatched <laughs> and I can't wait for that um I've been doing a lot of resting I still have to wear my faha of course I've been wearing the air board and the foam boards I've been wearing my compression socks you have to wear your compression socks for seven up to seven well for seven days after surgery and you have to wear your 
um your your garment of course for months after surgery so i've been wearing my stage one faha i will switch to my stage two faha in a few um in a week or so um so that way i could get more compression but while i'm home right now off from work i've just been wearing my stage one i've been laying down like i say getting a lot of rest while i was taking the pain medication it was causing me to sleep a lot i'm no longer taking the prescription pain medication like i said previously but i still am sleeping a lot i still have some of the anesthesia in my system which is causing me to sleep um i'm trying to think of anything else that i need to tell you guys i just want to make a quick video because i know a lot of you guys have been considering dr valori for your surgery um i did not have a bbl i did not have a tummy tuck all i had was lipo 360 um, which is the, like, it's 12 sections around your stomach. And then I had the bra rolls. I can see where I'm still swollen and bruised where he did the bra rolls. But I can see a significant improvement. Um, I know you guys, like I said, wanted to see some of his before and after work because he is new to Mia Aesthetics. So they don't have a lot of pictures on the website of his work. So I did want to pop in pop on here real quick to give you guys... um a little bit of information and show you guys my progress so far so that way you can make the decision to have surgery with him while he is still running his specials he is not still running the specials that I um when I signed up to have my surgery but he is running a different set of um, specials which are still really cheap prices for the surgeries I think he's a great doctor would I go to him again would I recommend him at this point, I would. I have not um, seen any, like I said, I cannot see um, drastic improvements because I'm still so swollen. They do recommend that you have the massages, which I just have not been able to have. I came home the day after surgery. They do recommend that you stay in the um, surgery city for up to five days. I was feeling fine. I've had surgery before, so I did not see the need to stay there for five days. I came home right after my post-op appointment. Travel was fine. I just stopped every hour, hour and a half, got out and walked around, stretched my legs, and I was fine. I'm feeling fine. Like I said, I'm not weak. I'm not lightheaded. I can walk around. I can move. I'm just moving slowly. I'm moving like I had surgery, which is the case. I did have surgery. Okay, guys, this is me. Three days post-op. Excuse me. I'm a little out of breath. I had my surgery on Thursday. It is now Sunday. I am still extremely, extremely swollen. And keep in mind, I have not had not one massage. So all the fluid that they inserted into me to break up the flat, to break up the fat, to liposuction is still inside of me. Um, minus the little bit that drained. I am pleased with my results. I can see. That once the swelling goes down, I will like my results. But this is my stomach. This is the side. And this is my back. And my, my other side. And the front. Like I said, I am still swollen. So you can't really see the results. Had I had a massage or two by now, I would, some of the swelling would be a little um, less. But so far, this is what I'm looking like. Guys, I do want to show you um, a Faha that I purchased, a compression garment that I purchased from ShapeX. Um, so give me one second. Let me go get that. Okay, guys. So if you watched my video where I shared with you my surgery supplies, I spoke about this compression garment and I told you guys I was going to order it. So this compression garment is from ShapeX. I may be saying that wrong. I put that name across the screen. 
but I did order it and I'm trying to see which one it is. I'll have to put that across the screen too because of course they did not send me a receipt. But anyhow, it's this compression garment right here where the straps are removable. You can take the straps off and you can just wear it like a, what is that, like a heart to top where you take the straps off or you can wear it with the straps. When I go back to work, I plan to wear this one where I do not have to take all my clothes off to put it on and take it off when I use the bathroom. You just unzip it and pull it down like you would pull down a bodysuit. It also has the zipper in the crotch area that goes all the way to the back so you are able to um, use the bathroom in it. But I don't, sometimes when I'm using that funnel, that urinal, and I have on my shapewear, my compression garments, sometimes I leak a little because, I mean, I am not used to using the bathroom standing up. So I thought that this would be a good alternative to the um, to the compression garment, the Faha that they gave us that the surgery center gave me, Mia Aesthetics. This is a size 2XL, so, um, and it, it has really good compression, really good stretch, so I'm hoping that, I have not tried this on yet, I will try it on before I go to work, and um, I can, on my next video, my next update video, I can let you guys, guys know how it fits, but um, this is also good for if you have a BBL, because it has the, the part for the, the the buttocks <laughs> so if you don't need any compression on that but it is supposed to give you a, a a uplifting effect for your butt which i didn't get it for that i just got it for the stomach compression and it should go up to right underneath my bra line so that way it can compress where i've had the um bra roll um lipo so I think this will work out well. Like I said, I put it on the, I put it down in this description box which compression garment this is. I paid sixty dollars. I want to say for this. Um, like I said, I, I have not worn it yet or even tried it on, so I hope it fits. It does have some boning right here to help keep it up. If you can see the boning, and it has that on both sides. So, hopefully this will work. But like I said, you can wear it with the, sh the straps or without. I do plan to wear it without. Guys, that was my quick three-day update. I hope it was informative. I hope I'm helping you to make a decision if you are deciding or contemplating going with Dr. Valori. Um, if you have any questions that I have not asked, leave them in the comment section below. And I will respond as soon as I get the message. I respond and I will let you know if I have the answer to your questions. Guys, stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit that post notification bell because I will be doing frequent updates to let you know how I am healing and how I am liking my results. Um, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Guys, once again, Happy New Year's. I hope this is a prosperous one for you and for me. Um, I plan to do big things in 2023, and I hope you do too as well. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and until the next time, bye, guys.